What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a splendid day, night, morning, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in. Thank you so much for doing so. Now, in today's video, we're basically going to break down sneaker selling, where to sell shoes, and what has changed over the past couple months and even like a couple of years of like where, like, you know, where you can get the most bang for your shoes. Now, listen, marketplaces are different all over the place. As I always stress in my videos, local marketplaces are always the best. Cash, straight up, in hand transactions, I think is. Cash is king, maybe. I don't know. I think that's just the best route to go. But now there's, you know, other platforms to sell on as well. Now, consignment has become a very popular thing. We've seen a lot of it across social media and all that type of stuff. So in this video, we're basically going to break it all down. This is kind of like the finale to the three-part series where I break down sneaker investments, sneaker shoes just to buy for the personal, and now we got sneaker selling, where to properly sell your shoes. So we're going to break down a couple of different platforms. We're not going to be able to get into every single store and every single shoe today, uh, but we're just going to give you guys a brief little general synopsis on what's going on. And if you guys want to take your reselling game to the next level, I highly encourage you to check out the group Time TV Plus, the group I own and run since 2018. About for a little bit more than four years, we've been in the game and we've been having a great run at it. So uh, if you guys are interested, make sure you check us out on social media as well. We post on there daily. And if you don't even want to join, you know, check us out, follow us, see what's up, and maybe eventually you will. Uh, so I greatly appreciate the support over there. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, we are going to focus on the Nike Dunkle Black White. Just because I think it's a staple shoe right now. Everyone knows everyone has a pair. I mean, not everyone. Almost everybody, I feel like, has a pair by now. If you're trying. If you try for every single restock and Connell every single time. I say just, just quit while you're ahead and just don't even go for shoes anymore at that point because uh, this shoe has restocked, I want to say like eight different times on the Nike app itself. Plus, you got other retailers dropping these consistently all over the time. It's just kind of sporadic depending on how retailers get the shoe. But anyways, we're talking about the selling process of this sneaker. So right now we're on eBay, which eBay has done a great job really like revamping itself within the past year, year and a half. Um, first and foremost, they do the authentication guarantee. This actually helps an extreme amount. The one thing that a lot of people complained about in the past was like getting scammed on eBay. The buyer saying it never arrived. You sent in some pineapples instead of the shoes. I've seen all sorts of crazy stories and like issues that just resulted from eBay because eBay usually tends to side with the buyer. Not all the time. If you complain enough, you make a good amount of argument and you actually are in the right, then they're probably going to side with you. But now with authentication guarantee, they automatically authenticate the sneakers on eBay. I feel like I'm an ad for this site, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just kind of explaining to you that I just want to make everyone out here to make as much money as possible off this shit. So we're going to go a little bit more in depth. They basically authenticate this sneaker for you and send it to the buyer. Once they authenticate it, you get paid out the next day via bank transfer. No more PayPal needed either. You can just do it straight through the bank. Less fees, less payment pendings and all this stuff just instantly within your bank account then in the next day or two. Uh, and if even if the buyer opens a case against you, a chargeback against you or anything of the above, they you're not liable for anything because they got verified and it got shipped from eBay to them. They were the middleman. Basically, they just took over StockX's ID of the whole authentication program and you're pretty much safe off the bat. Uh, another thing I always recommend doing on eBay when listing your shoes is do free shipping. Do free shipping. It looks a lot better and a lot more enticing. That free shipping looks better. It has a green logo on the phone and it shows up green. So it catches your eye a little bit better and just include it within the price. Usually about like $10 for shipping at say max across the country. Um, and it looks a lot better. Even if you include the price. So say you let, say you want $200 for this shoe and you make it $210 free shipping versus $200 plus shipping. $210 free shipping I just think looks a lot better and more enticing and more attractive to other people. But anyways, in terms of the resale market on eBay right now for the shoe and for most shoes, it tends to be a little bit over StockX ask. I'd say about 10 to 20 to 30 dollars over. Right now, these are selling for 200 dollars on eBay, which I think is a pretty solid bet. After fees, you're probably making 280, 275, 175 to 180. My bad. Missed the digit there. They're literally selling for 200 dollars There's no argument against that. They're literally selling for that. Even sometimes even more. Yeah, like one, this is a little bit of a rare sale. I don't know if I really believe it, but sale right here at 260 bucks with a bid. Uh 210 right here, free shipping. Look, beautiful. Exactly how I would do it. Same route. Um, you could probably even get them for a little bit more. Now, if you do sponsor listings, you can probably sell it a little bit better and a little bit higher just because it shows up at the top. And, you know, it's just like that buying this shoe. If we go over to StockX, so StockX market is around $194. Minus 8 plus 11%. You're making it a little bit less than eBay. I'd say probably 10 to $15 less than you would on eBay. But, you know, you maybe get paid a little bit faster on StockX. You have 6% fees instead of 8% fees. You save an extra 2%, which is like 4 bucks on a $200 shoe. So, you know, you can take it that route as well. But right now on this show, I'd say StockX is not a good platform. And nearly, I'd say for like 99% of shoes right now in this current state, not a good place to sell shoes. I would try to go anywhere else. Leave StockX as the last resort. First, I'll go to eBay, check market, check comps, check eBay sold. Then go over to GOAT. 
go for this shoe is about ten dollars more and pretty much the same fee structure the only thing that's a little bit more discouraging is they charge an extra three percent fee uh, when you want to transfer your money so they don't really show that but that's just what happens if you want to take it out of the app into the bank account so you might actually end up making just about the same as you would on stock hicks maybe slightly more the good thing about goat though is you build up points on it and you actually get lower lower fee structure and then you eventually get some extra uh perks as well with having a, a higher fee structure and now one of the sad stories that happened in the past year and a half is flight club flight club used to be a great place to consign and sell shoes but now they basically partnered up with goat and you literally make more money selling on goat than you do on flight club which still makes no sense to me but you can actually list it on consignment instead you see there's two different prices here one's consignment if you can actually go to the store in the physical location and then here's the lowest price which is basically like goat market or online cash out market so this i would never really go through this route i'd only go through lowest consignment price through this route if you're selling uh with flight club because they have a lot less fees I think it's about 10% fees for this structure right here. And you're making a pretty good chunk of change at around 170 bucks uh, payout for this one right here. Uh, then we go over Urban Necessities, another pretty popular ass resale shop, which is uh, run in Las Vegas, but you can actually ship stuff to them as well. They don't have too many of these listed. I don't know if they're currently accepting them right now, but the lowest I found was $217 for a size 10. They charge 15% fees, which is the lowest out of many... I'd say out of almost every single consignment store, this is like one of the lowest ones, especially because it's so damn big. I would expect a lot more percentage-wise to be taken out. That's like $3 right there, and you're making a $175 probably-ish, just around that range. So I'd say, honestly, right now it's looking like Urban Necessity is looking like a very, very solid bet. Uh, in terms of volume, though, it's kind of tough to tell. Now we go to Stadium Goods for $220. They charge 20% fees. More discouraging. And also, one thing I want to say, the one thing about this and Flight Club, if you have to ship them, I've had to ship them before. I haven't had the best experience, I have to say so myself. They actually declined like five out of like 15 pairs I sent in um, because they had like scuff marks, like little like minor things that I didn't even notice myself when I sent them in. Like nothing even major and they denied them. And I had to pay $15 return shipping for each one. So you don't know if it's going to actually pass until it passes through the authentication thing. So like, it's kind of a hit or miss. And plus shipping shoes like this, I kind of like to stay away from. And that's why I always recommend local shops. In New Jersey, where I'm located, we have, in every single mall I go to, there's a new shop. I've never you know, seen before or, or checked out before in my life, which is cool to see. Definitely cool to see the whole, you know, sneaker world expanding, but it's a lot out there. So definitely just go to a local mall and find a shop, even like standalone shops, not in malls. There's a bunch out there that take consignment. I'd say majority of stores, 90% will take consignment because it's easier for them and less risk on their end. Uh, Laced is a pretty big one out there as well. It's pretty local. And uh, Soul Stage is another one out here we can talk about real quick. This one you got to sell through the app. So I don't know the exact comps and everything. But right now, if you can sell for $300 on Soul Stage, I mean... You're killing it because that's the highest I've seen them listed anywhere on social. They're more like this. They're like a big store out there, but they're one of the smaller big brand stores. So I definitely just keep that in mind going into this one. Of course, if you live like in the middle of nowhere, oil fields around you, white plains around you, just fields of corn around you. I don't know what's up with you. Then you might just have to ship places or sell on eBay at that point. Get active on eBay, build your own eBay store, and then you get a lot, lot more attraction that route. Now, a different type of sneaker, we're going to go with like an older shoes. Now, older shoes tend to do much better on consignment as well. Uh, this is a Jordan 1 High OG Shatter Backboard. Now, if you're going to go on StockX and sell shoes, I only recommend selling like brick flips, like shoes that you find at the outlet, shoes that you find on sale on discount at Full Lockers, online, even like, you know, whatever you find on like Black Friday sales, you find some good shoes, sell on StockX, definitely, bang, bang, quick sales if you know you can get a sale. Because like shoes like that, like weird one-off shoes, like weird Air Forces, weird Jordan 1 mids, weird Nike Air Maxes. Apps is like the best place for that. Like I had an Air Maxes from Nike. We'll put up the sale above. I sold them on StockX finally and I would never get that sale anywhere else, I don't think. So that's why I recommend those type of shoes. Definitely rely on apps. These older type of shoes, I definitely recommend on consignment. Look, for example, we've got a size 10 at 405. This one, go is pretty damn low, lowest price, but lowest consignment rate is at 438, minus like 12, 13% fees. You're pretty doing, you're not doing terrible on this shoe if you take it as an example. Let me take a size 10 here for 529, 20% fees, plus you have a little bit of a transfer fee with Stadium Goods. It's nothing major, I think it's like 2%, slightly less. You net probably around 400 US dollars, which is more than any of the two we just broke down. And then you go on to Urban Necessities, which is by far the best because 15% fees on 525, and it's a damaged box. You're netting pretty, pretty damn well. Too much math for my head. But anyways, as I was going along with it, you know, shoes like this, I would definitely recommend consignment stores, but you got to make sure they're in prime time condition. Don't get rejected because that just bites away at the profit. But at this point, in this current stage of the market, if you have like older shoes like this, like shattered backboards, I would 
don't fall victim to the falling knife right here. Like their prices are pretty damn low. I mean, they're higher than they were ever, almost higher than they ever were before. But they took a massive hit, like 369 to 400. I would just say possibly hold on to this shoe a little bit longer. If you held it for this long, you can hold it even more than present day. Now moving on, we're going to cover these high tier drops. An example of that is going to be this Off-White Air Force One. Uh, this is a very a high tier shoe, one of the more exclusive shoes to ever come out any time of the year. It's an Off-White Nike, right? It's like the cream of the crop right here. Uh, you can see the market is like bouncing. It's like, a, like a, it's all over the place right now. It's up, down, up, down, up, down. There was a huge increase in August, like a month or two after the drop, which you sold it. Congrats to you because that was like probably the highest it reached. Uh, and now it's pretty down low because once again, resellers have the shoe. They want more cash. They're going to sell their most, more, more expensive stuff to make a bigger uh, change in their bank account because, you know, they need more cash. They need to be more liquid. Uh, so, for example, we take a size 10 listed at $1,600 on StockX. Then you've got uh, Stadium Goods over here listed size 10 at $1,899, which 20% fees, double the fees of StockX listed at $200, $300 more. Then uh, StockX you know, kind of balances out to be pretty much equal for this case scenario. You also got to keep in mind, on Stadium Goods, they can undercut just as they can on StockX, and they undercut by $5 usually. So, Keep that in mind, if you list it, that doesn't mean it's a guaranteed sale. And you do might have to pay return shipping. On StockX and apps like this, you don't really have to pay any return shipping because you list it while it's in your house and you send it once it sells. That's just kind of one of, that's like makes it a little bit more riskier, once again, to sell in consignment stores and resale shops. And then you got Urban Necessities here listing for the Sky High. Um, I haven't sold them in quite a long time because they moved away from New York City and I don't like to ship my stuff once again. So I kind of just do drop offs only. But if they can accept these pairs, I mean, Size 10 right now, you probably listed like 2300 If we're looking at 2400 I don't know how much they sell of this shoe, but you know it could be a really, really great place to list them. And then last but not least, I want to cover eBay for a shoe like this. So, I mean, there's a good amount listed. We have 81 results listed. 81 results and how many sold? Let's see how much volume. 53 sold. So, 53 sold in total in the past. $550 bid. Wow. That's a used pair too, but damn. It's kind of cheap. I mean, I don't know. You can clean them up pretty well. 53 results sold and we got most of them yeah most of them look like to be pre-owned and there's something to find something that's new i mean i doubt they actually sold for 150 dollars unless they're super i mean listen the one bad thing about ebay i mean you can still sell fakes through uh pre-owned and if they're not listed an authentication guarantee but i guess these are authenticated so wild to see that but you go basically i guess you could say safely selling for around 1800 dollars 16 to 1800 dollars for example right the off-white air force ones minus 12 percent i'd say you're netting pretty much the same as you would across all of the platforms. Probably StockX might be a little bit higher than eBay, and the same supply might be just about the same. So you kind of just got to divvy it up. It kind of depends. But one thing I always recommend looking is the spread between asks and bids on apps, the volume. Always, always, always look at volume. It's kind of tough to see the volume at resale shops, but it's not that hard to see it on StockX. You always just go view sales and see how many are selling. If they're selling a good amount like this, like it's an older shoe, so it definitely doesn't have as much hype as it once used to have, but it's selling like 10 pairs already halfway into the month. So let's say 20 pairs per month. You can say it's about one every single day. Not too bad of a volume, but if you want to sell on stadium goods and all that, you don't really know exactly the volume you get to see on like Flight Club. But if it's listed for a much more of a bigger difference, like 100 to $200 plus difference on a shoe, I would just say send it to consignment and you're good to go. But once again, always focus on local shops. Because trust me, they can move stuff for the sky high. So that's it for my little breakdown on how to sell shoes. And I hope you guys learned something. Of course, do much more research. It's kind of just like a brief general view of the whole game right now. And you'll probably do much more research and learn a little bit more as well. So kind of just like a good starting point for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.